Right, it's time to make the skirting. So I'm going to make this thing for you. Now, what we're going to do is create this profile. Uh, and then we're going to sweep this along a path that we're going to define around the perimeter of this wall. Okay, it's going to end at that point there. What we'll also do is create a component out of this profile and we'll save this externally so we can use it again and we'll then load that back into the component window. So this is the process by which you would use if you wanted to create profiles or any other components and save them uh, for use later so that they don't sort of get sort of overwritten or updated. So we've got a 19mm by 200 mil high rectangle and then 36 mil down we've got a 9 mil by 11 mil sort of chop out and then this is just a an arc that's filling the gap and we'll remove the two bits of the corners so if you go back to the other one we'll start by drawing a rectangle and we'll draw it on a vertical face so I'm looking at um, 19 in the X so 1 9 comma 200 enter so my X and Y must be slightly different. Okay, so never mind. We'll select that and Q for rotate. Click, click, and then rotate it round through 90 degrees. So I'll just zoom in on this bit. It doesn't matter. And then I'll click on this sort of somewhere on the with the red dot, so I can grab a construction line. And uh, it's 200, so that's 36 from the top is 164, 164, enter. And then we had 11 mil down, and we had 9 mil in. Make sure it's on the green axis, so 9, enter. So then we can create a little a rectangle. Then I can E for arrays to rub that bit out. And then I can A for arc, or click on that two point arc and go from this point to this point and drag it out to this point and then E for arrays again and this is arrays all these extra bits and pieces okay so there's our profile for the skirting now I'm gonna triple click or double click right click and I can either make a component that way or I could click on this icon to make a component or I could hit the G key on the keyboard and they all do the same thing so I'll just use this one to make a component and we'll call it skirting okay and then we'll create we'll forget all the other bits we don't want to glue it to anything because that uh, can unscrew things up it's very useful for certain things uh, if you glue it to a vertical then you'll get this sort of cut opening thing set up so if you're creating windows and you want to glue that to a vertical surface you'll get the cut opening option which basically means that um, when you position that into uh, a wall face, then it'll just chop the opening out. So a very useful little addition to that. So I'll just click Create. That's created that. And then I'm going to move this to the corner of my wall, like so. And then I'm basically going to rotate it through 90 degrees. It needs to be perpendicular to the path, the end of the path, um, to get a true representation of the shape. So I will just then use the Move tool and hover over that top edge so I can see where those crosses click and rotate through 90 degrees. Excuse me, I'm very bunged up at the moment, so I'll just move that out and put that there. And then I'll create my path. So and before I sort of create my skirting, I'm going to save the profile out to an external folder. So I'm just moving a line around here. Right, so that component will be in my um, in model components. So I'm looking for, if I just purge unused, just to clean out basically what I've got. Because I've stripped this back and there's lots of other stuff. This is a previously sort of stripped back version of an existing um, fully finished thing. So I've got a lot of components in there that uh, I don't need for the purposes of this. And all I've got now is just one skirting profile. So what I need to do with this is right click and save as, and then I'll save this out. I've got a folder somewhere on my system, um, but for the moment I'll just put it in documents, but save it somewhere sensible, okay? So I'll call it skirting and save it there. So I'm now looking at my in model skirting here. Now, if I actually use this, okay, and you select the path, so triple click the path, And then I use the follow me tool. 
And I come up to my scudding profile. So you see it says, he's got that sort of can't, sort of no entry, whatever it is, sign. It says can't do it sign. If you right click on that and then edit component, then it allows you to follow me. So we'll send that through. And that goes all the way around and ends up at the end of our path. That's a really useful thing to do. Now, what's happened is that this has been updated. So if I drag this in and I just wanted to use that end profile, I'm a bit uh, stuck because now the component has been updated because it's in the model. So what I need to do is to click on this little details icon and open or create local collection. So if I just go to my documents and OK that, so whatever documents I had in there, there you go, there it is, skirting. I should have saved it in a proper folder somewhere sensible. But anyway, um, if I bring this in, this is back to the original skirting. So I'm now looking at the, at the documents folder for my SketchUp um, component. And every time I bring this in to the model, providing it's after I've made any changes to the one in model, which is this one. I've got now skirting number one. And I've got the original skirting. See though the change, if I make a change to this, then the skirting number one is going to update. Okay, skirting number one is update because it's in model. It's been updated in the model. However, if I go back through this um, key to my documents, and I find skirting, I can bring that back in and reuse it again, fresh. Okay, so that's the difference between bringing something from an external source and using something that's in model. So if I went down to my scooting one and brought that in, it's gonna come in like this, okay? Because it's the same thing. So I've got three now in my model. I've got scooting number two, which is this one here. So hopefully that's made, shed a little bit more light on um, what happens with these things. And again, I can purge unused. So I'll only be having scooting and scooting two in the model. What I'm gonna do now is move this uh, around through 90 degrees and also I'm going to rotate it through uh, this direction and I'm going to pick it up in the corner position it up here in that corner now I could use follow me again but as it's just a simple push pull then I can double click and push pull and I can use that auto sort of track method SketchUp has and I can just sort of line up with this face and I am done with that. Okay so that's put my skirting in. Uh, hopefully you've got to grips with the in model and the external source components. The external sourcing of components or the saving component profiles or other things to an external file does save a huge amount of time but you have to remember that once it's in model and you manipulate it then the in model thing gets updated.